I'm really saddened that Jenna Marbles basically called it quits on this platform because she doesn't want to hurt anyone because cancel culture came for her. That's not what I ever set out to do, to hurt anyone's feelings or to make anyone feel bad. Um, so I'm just, I don't, I don't want to be like upset while I say this, so give me a second. So um, I think I'm just gonna move on from this channel for now. Um, I don't know if that's forever. I don't know how long it's gonna be. Um, I'm just, I wanna make sure that the things that I put into the world are not hurting anyone. And um, yeah, I'm just gonna stop for now or forever. <laughs> I don't know. I would probably take this video down because it's embarrassing and just let whatever just live and just be. Over some things that she uploaded many, many years ago and apologized for many years ago and removed from YouTube many years ago, but that doesn't matter to cancel culture. Something could have happened 20 years ago and they'll still not forgive you for it. You should you should feel shame for, for whatever it was for the rest of your life. And they've proven that even if someone tries to commit suicide, like what happened in 2015 with someone who drew uh, Steven Universe fan art because they, oh, they mixed and matched the outfits and hair. Oh, that's terrible. You, that's cultural appropriation. It's culturally insensitive. You should feel terrible about yourself. And so that person tried to commit suicide. And what did uh, some of these cancel culture people say to that? Oh, good. We don't need people like you in this world. That's cancel culture. And there's a number of people out there who try to say, oh, cancel culture isn't a thing. Fuck you. If you're trying to claim that cancel culture really isn't a thing, oh, no, they're just, they're just calling people out for things that it's just like, for things like Steven Universe fan art? For someone making a, a, a bad joke many, many years ago that they apologized for and removed, they should still feel bad for that shit? The thing is, Jenna Marbles is a kind, caring, emotionally available, intellectually honest um, person who who listens to people. She always tries to make improvements on herself. And that's rare to find on this platform, particularly someone who has over 20 million subscribers. You know, and she continually made very positive, uplifting, sometimes silly content, stuff that brought a smile to many, many people's faces, including myself. And now she's not going to be on the platform anymore because of cancel culture. It just pisses me off. It really pisses me off. It makes me sad because we've lost something very good on this platform.